I want to take you through a procedure here. Uh, we're halfway through with the set of Edelbrock uh, Performer Cylinder Heads for customer in California. Oldsmobile Project, uh, moderate to radical for the street. Uh, he'll be plenty pleased. Uh, it's a pretty cool project. It's a reduced rod journal deal. It's a 2200 on the rod journal. It's 4250 stroke, and it has a uh, 4165 bore to it. So we went ahead and we've taken his Edelbrock heads, uh, Virgin Edelbrock heads. Uh, this is the last design prior to going to a heart style shape chamber. Uh, so this is their last version here of this head. Uh, they had multiple different versions of this head. Uh, like I said, uh, their latest is uh, the heart shape uh, chamber. We don't see really a difference as far as uh, power output uh, between uh, such a chamber as a double quench versus a heart. Uh, and that's probably due to the six degree valve angles. There's plenty of area here uh, for the intake to flow and plenty of area for the uh, exhaust valve to uh, get air out of it. So uh, we don't see really a, a, a big difference or a big to do with uh, the difference in the chambers here. So what we went ahead and did was these cylinder heads or the seats are set up for a 207 and a 168. And we went ahead and we increased uh, to a 210. Uh, but what's what's most important is that uh, undercut area in there uh, where we size the ID of the seat accordingly. Um, and that's going to pick up a lot of power. That's going to add a lot of volume right there to it. So uh, in essence, um, these heads can use volume. Uh, a lot of people are into, you know, flow. What's it flow? What's it flow? What's it flow? Uh, and that's not necessarily is the uh, end all to everything, especially when you have a pump that's robust enough. Sometimes you take a little bit uh, less flow and you increase the volume and ultimately you're going to make more power and that vehicle is going to go from A to B faster and uh, you'll come up with better results. So it's not necessarily all about flow figures. So uh, increasing the bowl area. Uh, right at the seat or right underneath that lower cut, that's very important. That's giving it uh, area. And as you could see, as we came down with the cutter, uh, we'll go in with two different cuts. Uh, first is to drop the ID, of which we'll typically set up anywhere between, uh, on the ID, anywhere between 1.925 uh, and 1.935. Here I am giving some secrets away here to these heads, uh, but that's okay. Um, and that will increase it significantly. And then we'll go in and we'll drop the valve job in. And by doing so in that sequence, that cutter, when we come in to uh, cut the valve job in, does not get influenced uh, by the additional um, areas of uh, the carbide. So uh, it cuts nice and easy and lays that valve job in really beautiful. Uh, on the exhaust side here, we are uh, roughly at a, a 1710, 1711 in here. And as you could see, we used a radius style uh, cutter blade for that. And we came in there and we uh, went ahead and cut the ID of the C2 as well. We're going to go ahead and, and blend this. Uh, the next procedure is, since this cylinder head is getting uh, a Jessel set up on it, uh, we went ahead and we, we're going to mock it up. And uh, right now I have uh, some checker springs set in place. I have the actual customer's retainers, a nice, beautiful tie pack retainer. Uh, eight degree minis are in this thing. Um, we're going to go with a dual high frequency in here. We can carry less uh, seat pressure. Uh, it's got more pounds per square inch. Uh, this type of spring we're going to be using on it. Uh, these are obviously not the springs. These are checker springs, and we use these checker springs for mock-up purposes. So we're, we're set up in here now, and I'm going to uh, release it from the fixture here uh, of this Rattler machine, and we're going to sub-assemble it onto uh, an existing motor that's being built, get the Jessel on it, and make sure we're good to go through the pushrod areas. Once we got clearance through the pushrod areas, uh, I'll disassemble this, and we'll go ahead and we'll finish the entrance to these ports. And I'll go ahead and finish the bowl areas on the other side. 
and uh, we'll be good to go. So uh, like and share, check us out, Facebook, uh, Ols Performance and Machine. And you can check our website out too as well, and that's at Ols Performance Products. We're here for you. If you have any questions, feel free to call. If you need parts, quality advice, give us a call, 1-800-382-1320. And thanks for uh, watching.